you know how to make a pom-pom from yarn, you can have an instant accessory. A round pom-pom will never go out of style. Classic party fair there, but a new shape is on the scene. Sarah Freeman is here to explain. So say what, a pom-pom doesn't have to be round? It doesn't have to be round anymore. I mean, the round, like you said, is never going to go out of style. Right. We love round pom-poms. Yes, They're Hannah everywhere Burhart. right now. Yes, we do. <laughs> but they can also take on a slightly different shape. Using the same techniques that you use to make a round pom-pom, you can make different shapes. We're calling these sculpted pom-poms, yes. which makes it sound so yes. sophisticated, doesn't it? It does, it does. Before we get into the how-to, you're gonna show us how to do this, I'd like to talk about some applications because you are kind of the pom-pom princess. <laughs> I mean, you have so I'm, much fun I with I am these a little crazy. I'm crazy pom-pom lady. That's I am a compliment. Not <laughs> That's a compliment. Right up there with crazy cat lady, I'm yes, telling you what. it must be. I wanna ask about the cactuses first. Cacti, yes. I guess, is more so our, correct. The pom-pom cactus. See, this is sort of a sculpted because it's not exactly round. Right. It's a little bit more oval shape, and then and it's kind of pairing a typical round oval shaped pom pom with another one. So you kind of are combining a couple of different it's like things mixed together. Geometry. It is. Look it at is. us. We're all <laughs> mathematical and such. And little, what are these? The these are guys? tiny trees. Oh. So the bottle brush tree thing, I got really into this Christmas. You and, and the other I, woman in Utah, yes. And I figured there had to be a way to make a pom pom little bottle brush tree. So again, you just you use that same round pom pom, but you kind of tweak it, you trim it differently. Give it a different and haircut. It, it becomes a tree. It's adorable, it's so cute. <laughs> pom-poms can be monograms. They can be monograms. And these are actually, they look like round pom-poms, but they're actually half pom-poms. Aha. Uh -huh. So that they're not quite so puffy, and they, they glue a little bit better. And allows you to get that. the curvature of the exactly. letters. Exactly, so again, not exactly round, kind of kind of tweaking it a little. There's a darling duvet on PotteryBarn.com right now, Pottery Barn Kids, oh that has goodness. the pom-poms sewed on it. You've yes. recreated that here with this cute little pillow. I love it. So, and like this pillow was just on sale at Target. I loved it, I thought it was adorable, but I thought, why not? If you can, you know, if you can add pom-poms to anything, why not? pillow some accessories, you <laughs> exactly, know? Exactly, exactly, and this one too, I just, this is actually a pillow insert. So it was like six dollars. It was like super cheap. You could get a pillow cover to go over it, but I just actually glued these to the pillow. That's the one I'm dying over <laughs> is the white, clean, yes. you know, canvas. And it's just with the those bright pom poms on top that is so happy, yeah. it's so cheery. You could throw that on any little girl's yeah. bed. And exactly. I feel like it would I, know. Be... I think it actually is going to go I have three girls, so it's gonna go oh. on one of their beds after this for sure. We'll know who your They've favorite already... <laughs> child is by whose bed has we'll that have pillow to see on whose it. Bedding it goes with the No, best. really, we'll that could to... be your inspiration piece, right? You could do a whole room you could. around those you totally bright, happy could. colors. What have you done over here? So over here, so this is kind of a, a straw bag. Those are kind of in right now, the straw bag look. Mm -hmm. And all I did was I just added just added some pumps. And one Cute. of them is actually the pineapple. <gasps> tied them, just left the strings long, tied them on, and then you've got a little accessory to your, you know, kind of plain straw bag. Let's pause and celebrate this pineapple because you've done a garland out of this. And this is where the idea of the sculpted yes, pom-pom really this takes This is actually where I kind of created that idea of a sculpted pom-pom. I had always been doing round ones. Right. And my daughters were into this pom-pom craze all of a sudden, and I'm like, or not the pom-pom, the pineapple craze. And I thought there has got to be a way to make a pineapple pom-pom. I'm sensing so a that is you. <laughs> you see something and think, how can I pom-pom it? Well, now I truly do. Now it's like <laughs> cacti. I love cacti. How can we, so everything you I You made it a verb. Kind of <laughs> how can I pom-pom that? Exactly. How can I? It's a verb. It's That's a verb. That's awesome. Yes, All right, show us how to make the pineapples, will you? All right, so I have several different colors of yarn. Um, the, I like to have my pom-poms be kind of, especially the pineapples, because yeah. they're not all just yellow. There's multiple colors in a pineapple. So I use several strands of yarn at a time okay. to get kind of the mixed effect. So different shades, different so, variations. Right, so you can kind color. of pick out what you want. I mean, and obviously it can be whatever colors you'd like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, and if you would like to try, we yeah, have I a few would. over here, and you can do as many strands as you'd like. I might use these three strands. Okay. And then um, you can buy pom-pom makers, and I'm sure this isn't a new thing, but you can buy these at the, any craft store. These mm -hmm. are just simple little makers, and you can make them. You can make them out of cardboard. So they're really easily, easy it's to It's been find. a while, but it's just a wrap and snip technique, It is, right? that's really all it is. So here, we can move this yeah. out a little bit. You better really, remind me, it has been a while since so I've we done just, this. So we just, we take, let's see, where's my end here? So we take a few strands, uh -huh. And we kind of put them all together. They will, it's kind of a little tricky at first because they do get a little tangly. And then what you're gonna try to do is you have to hold your pom-pom holder in one hand uh -huh. and then you just take these uh -huh. and you just start twisting. And this will kind of go together more as you start twisting more and more around it. 
and you just twist. You really just keep going. And luckily, when you use three, it goes kind of fast. Yeah, it would bulk up a little so, quicker. So yes. So okay, once you've done that, you you start then with a basic yes, circle so and you then kind, you sculpt. So you actually, it, it'll look like this. Oh, okay. And so when it first comes out, this is the messy it's part. It's a sad pineapple. It is. <laughs> you don't. I mean, if you like your pineapples like that, you can totally leave it. But, and I'm kind of a scissor snob when. With oh. <laughs> Well, wow. some I like for trimming, some I like for just cutting around. It's yes, I like anyway. you, Sarah. This is fun. <laughs> so this is where it does get a little messy, and this is why I'm always covered in like pom pom fuzz. If you come to my house and I open the door, I have pom pom everywhere. Yes. So you, this is where you start to sculpt a little bit, uh -huh. and you kind of just start. You just want to kind of trim it, and you just want it to kind of be. It can be whatever shape you'd like, uh -huh. but I kind of like mine a little bit more oval. So you just. You just kind of give it a haircut. Yeah, just shape it. <laughs> I think I'd be really good at giving shape haircuts. Shape that guy. Like you a should... really good bowl cut, I think I would So be the really daughter good who gets the pillow on the bed should be your first guinea pig for the, <laughs> right. I'll give the, you a the salon. Yeah, the new haircut. <laughs> yes. So, and then with the pineapple, too, this yeah. is actually a two piece pom pom. Okay. So I made a half of a little, this is actually just a half of a mini size pom pom. Yes. And then that you like kind of flip it upside down, make right. it kind of look like a tip, and then you want to trim like your two ends off. There's something satisfactory about this. It is, it is, is. it's is very it? rewarding. They're yes. soft and they're. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so the pineapple, not to be outdone, we love this. We also love that strawberry guy down front. Yes. We're like swimming that... <laughs> over the strawberry garland. That one's also a sculpted one, so I just, you kind of just want to shape it kind of like a straw, and it's all about trimming. So really, however you trim, is kind of going to be how it ends up looking. Super fast. Do you recommend a yarn type or a yarn um, brand? I actually, you don't want the cheapest because that's like too plasticky and okay. too staticky. Okay. And you actually don't want the most expensive, I've found. It's kind uh -oh. of, it's a happy medium. Hit for the so middle. So I kind of like the middle. I really can we do. order pom-poms from you? You can. If you don't want to make them yourself, I have lots available in my shop. You can even buy them loose. And my shop is on Etsy, and it's apricotpolkadot.etsy.com. And you can also find me on Instagram at apricotpolkadot with lots of Pom-pom goodness. Cute name, cute crafter, cute projects. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Fun to have you.